my channel, Candace here, and obviously I am shooting you a Halloween inspired video. Why else would I be dressed up in my cat ears and my cute little cat bow? And I've decorated my whole set, my kitchen for you all, so I hope you like it. Uh, I really look forward to the holiday season every year. I love fall, I love hot cocoa, dressing up and carving pumpkins and the whole shebang here at the Camacho house. So today, on today's show, I am going to be showing you how to make these chocolate pumpkin candy bowls. And yes, this thing is edible, tried and tested by my two-year-old Athena. She loved it. And you know what? These would be a great thing for you to make for your child for their Halloween party. I guarantee you they're gonna love it. What you'll need for this project is one baking sheet covered by parchment paper, one large bowl and one small bowl, party balloons, piping bags, orange candy melts, and dark cocoa candy melts. And the final ingredient, lots and lots of Halloween candy. Reese's Pieces, Three Musketeers, Baby Ruth, Kit Kat, eyeballs, got your fangs, skulls and bones, and you, of course you can't go wrong with some good old fashioned candy corn. Open your candy melts and place them in your large bowl, all of them. Next, I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. All right, so I popped it in for about 45 more seconds. I have quite a bit of chocolate in here. So it took a little bit longer, but the key here is you really have to stir, stir, stir. You don't want any lumps any lumps in your chocolate. So you want a nice smooth pumpkin bowl. So just take your spoon and smooth it out so that there, it is nice and smooth and creamy. And in the end, it should look like that. And another really important tip is that you must wait until this chocolate is completely cool before you go dipping your balloon in it. And I tried this out the hard way, so I know. Make sure it's completely cool. Next, you're gonna take your hot cocoa candy melts, put a few of these into your smaller bowl, and these are gonna be the eyes for your pumpkin. So I'm gonna put these in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds. All right, my little goblins, our chocolate is melted, and the same tip applies to the chocolate that applied to the orange. You wanna really stir it and make sure all of the bumps get out so it's nice and smooth to put into that piping bag. So I hope that you've blown up your balloons while you are waiting for your chocolate to cool. So all you do is you simply take your balloon and you dip it into your chocolate. I dip a couple times, maybe two or three times. Just make sure the bottom is nice and coated. Whoop! Perfect. And then you just place it onto your parchment paper on top of the cookie sheet. The parchment paper ensures that they'll there will be no sticking. So you can just continue to do this and just like that. And just let it drop off and then stick it on your parchment paper. Okay, so our balloons have cooled, but we're not gonna pop them yet. First, we're gonna put the eyes on the pumpkin. So all I did was take a piping bag and I put the chocolate in there and then I just cut the, the tip of the end of the piping bag off. This one, I'm just gonna go with some little circle eyes with a mean little jack-o'-lantern smile. There we go, he's so cute. So we have our eyes on the pumpkin, the orange chocolate is dry, so just kind of take your fingers and kind of, kind of bend the balloon a little bit and then just take your scissors and pop it just like that. And then all you do is peel out the balloon out from the little candy bowl. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Ah! Come out, come out. Whee! So the kids might need a little bit of help with this part, but look, it is relatively easy and kabang! We have our chocolate pumpkin bowl. Woo! All right, how adorable are these? They are so fun to make and pretty easy. You just have to follow a couple important steps. So now that we have our pumpkin bowls made, we have to have a candy filling party. 
Invite your friends, invite your children, your children's friends, everything. Everybody will love this activity. It's great to get the family involved. And as you know, most of the time I am the organic, natural mama, but I believe life is all about balance. So, you know, let's have a little bit of fun and have a little bit of, you gotta have a little bit of candy corn in your life, people. You know, it just, it would be rude not to. It's Halloween, they're there at the store. They are there for eating and enjoying. So if you liked what you saw here, please follow me on Instagram at new mom, new wife, new life. Leave me a comment below. I would love to know what candy you put in your chocolate pumpkin bowls and what your kids had to say about them. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Have a great time trick-or-treating and I'll see you next time.